Hello everyone, my name is Val and welcome back to my channel. This video is inspired by the comments left by one of my subscribers under the video 3 reasons ESL students should draw. Here is the comment. Students can't draw. What can I do? I don't mean they are Picasso, but they don't want to use pencil can draw a simple circle. Well, first of all, thank you, enjoy business skate. Second of all, it got me thinking. How can we indeed motivate those students who say they cannot draw? Here is what you can try in your class. Class, how many animals can you draw in a minute? I want to compete against two or three students, but one student is fine too. You don't have to draw beautifully, just draw quickly. Also, Teacher Val cannot draw very well. Teacher Val is very bad at drawing, very, very, very bad. So please, don't laugh too hard at Teacher Val. Who wants to beat Teacher Val? Raise your hands, raise your hands, anybody, raise your hands. Try, just give it a go. Sam, you wanna try? Sure, come to the board, come to the board, please. Cool. Sam drew one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven animals, seven animals. Good job, Sam. What did you draw? An elephant, a very sad dog, a cow. I think it's a sheep, that's a worm, that's a snail, and it's an angry shark. Good job. Well, I drew three animals. A peacock, a duck, and an eagle. What, what questions? You have questions? Sure, go ahead and ask me. You have a question? I have an answer. What is that? What is that? It's a duck. Ducks can fly. It's, it's a wild duck. It doesn't look like a duck. It looks like a check mark. No, it doesn't. It looks like a big fat duck. It's flying so quickly that you can't even see it very well. I know it's a duck because I drew a duck. It's definitely a duck. Definitely. Okay, and what is that? That. What is it? It's an eagle. An eagle. It's an eagle. How is that an eagle? It looks like a dot. It looks like a dot because you can't see it. Eagles fly higher than other birds. Also, this eagle, my eagle, flies so high that you can't even see it. And that is a beautiful peacock. Beautiful? Yes, 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 it's beautiful. Look, it has everything. It has a head, it has a body, it has a couple of legs, and it has beautiful feathers. It is a peacock. Teacher Val, you can't draw. You cannot draw. Yeah, yeah, not really. Yes, I know I can't draw, but I'm not afraid to try. So you and I can have some fun and enjoy my lovely animals. I know, I know I lost. Sam won. He's got seven animals. I've got only three and you can't even see my beautiful eagle. The point I'm trying to make here is that your students need to see that you are not good at everything and they also need to see that you're okay with it. It's a lesson in itself, showing your students that it's okay to say that you are not good at something. It's okay to admit you can't do something well. Also, art doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be unique, creative, and made with love. Who can draw a cat from the word cat? Mm -hmm. 
teacher Val, that's impossible. Not possible. Impossible, you can't do it. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I thought so too, but I learned it. And I'm sure you can learn it too. I can't draw, I cannot draw at all. And you all know that I can't draw very well. But I learned it, and I want to show you that you can do it too. We are going to do it together, slowly. So everyone draws a perfect cat. From the word, cat. I hope you enjoyed this video. Most of us are not Picassos, but there are things we're good at. Listening, speaking, singing, dancing, driving, cooking, running, teaching, learning, asking questions, answering questions, writing stories, playing video games, solving equations, making someone happy, crying, feeling, laughing, shopping, dressing, sleeping, eating, keeping secrets, being honest, encouraging people, enjoying your life, and so on, and so on, and so on, and so on. It's important your students see that you are not a superhuman and that you are also trying to be better for them and for yourself. Humankind is beautiful because it's diverse. You are beautiful because you are unique. You have talents, more than one. Don't you ever doubt it. Thank you, and I'll see you in my next video.